Welcome to my first video. Here we are going to learn how to build API using Flask. Before we begin, please install Flask and the other libraries. I provide code in the description. So first import Flask from Flask, then create the application and provide appropriate name to it. Now using decorator, set the home route for your application. and define the function which is execute at the initial stage define home and return any string like hey to run the application you need to provide the port app dot run port 8000 you can write any port number you want just save the application and check whether it is working or not okay it works perfectly now copy the string paste it in the browser you can see hey over here now we are going to build a store which return the store item and the store details i already written the code for the store so i am copying it here is the store now build the another decorator and set the route for it store and they provide the name of the store so string and the name by default it used the get method if you want to use the post method then you need to write methods equal to post but we are currently working with the get method so need no need to write this thing now for that route you need to define the function uh, we can call it the get this get store name or get store pass the variable name and use the iterator to find in the store for store in stores if we match the name then we need to fetch the data so store name matches the name then return the store name okay to work with the browser we need to retain the json data for that we need to import the jsonify jsonify return the jsonify over here now we need to fetch the if the uh, okay over here if we not found the store then we need to return the message Done the particular message that the store is not found. Now we are going to fetch the particular store item. So this thing, paste it over here. Now in the route, you need to set item. Change the function name gets to items these all are equal and here you need to return items now save it and let's check our application is working or not okay let's see the copy the string paste it over here now you need to write slash store slash store name you can see the stories exist then the store called the beautiful store 2 okay you can see the beautiful store 2 so our application work perfectly now we are going to create the store for that build the another decorator set the route for it here the route slash store okay now define the function that create the store here we are going to use the post method to <coughs> to create the store equal to post now for creating the store you need to import the request without the s now uh, 
uh, define some data suppose request data which is equal to request dot json sorry here we are going to use cat json now build the new photo here we are going to pass the data say name which is equal to the request data of name items leave it the blank leave the blank okay now we, we need to append this store in the previous store so stores dot append new store and return the store We are going to create these two items or then they copy this paste it over here or that here store then particular store name and then you can able to create the items here item first of all we need to find the store that the store is exist or not so for that we are going to using the same logic if this store exists then request data which is equal to again the request dot get json now we need to create item new item this. now provide the price and the item name to it okay so here the name which is request data of name and provide the price to it now we need to append the particular new item into the store so for that Tony dot append new item and return the items If we not able to find the store, then we write the message same as above. So copy this. And they save it. Okay, let's save it and check the application works or not. There's something error. Okay, they provide the create store item. Save it okay the our API works perfectly now using postman application we are going to see that the application works perfectly or not okay our API is ready now so open the postman application I provide the link in the description to downloading of the postman just wait a while okay our application is started now first of all we need to run the application copy this thing and set a new collection uh, given name say API into that you need to here you can select the request from get post boot patch anywhere you want to do using the get provide the URL slash store and provide the name say UT 
beautiful store here is the sand okay request sand you can see the beautiful soap over here so our application works perfectly now here what we are doing just save the this request and provide a name say store select the store api okay the request is saved now what we are doing just the duplicate of it and now here we are going to fetch the items now beautiful store and say item send the request okay it will fetch the item now here comes the interesting part when we are going to create a new store so for that make it get of it here we are going to send the post method to the store and here when you are sending a request it will show something error called internal server error so what we are doing to solve this for that you need to go to the headers then provide the here write content type type and set it to the json application json now go to the body wait okay then go to the row now here you are going to say name which is equal to another store it and send the request uh, something went wrong okay you in JSON you need to enter double inverted quotes save it and send still something got wrong okay here this one the request okay you can see the store over here now go to the previous one and here now enter the another store okay so the store is created now make copy of this one now we are going to build an item to it so here slash store slash store name called the store and enter the item save it here change the header into the body provide name of item say shoes and price to it call it 100 now save it and send the particular request something error here it is an integer so you need to write like this save it and send the request to solve the error I need to check the code so open the code with the notepad go to the create store okay here we are forget to pass the name comes the item because you are creating new item and this is the small s okay I think now it's work perfectly save it close the application and run it again now whenever you run it again you need to create the store and fetch it okay now I think it's work perfectly still something went wrong okay it's items so we need to change it go to here and items save stop it run the again create
Oh, still error. Okay, my bad, sorry. Spelling mistake. Notepad and so JSON it. Now save the code. Run the application again. Activate store. And send the request. Now you can see the store is created. Now from the fetch item, you can write here another store. Okay, so you can see the shoes, the new item. So here we go. Our API work perfectly. You can publish this on any server. Otherwise, you can connect it with the database to work it perfectly. I can post another video to how to connect the API with the database. Thank you.